In my science class, I was assigned to do a presentation on a disease, so naturally I picked Bartonella, and I decided to share it with you guys. What is Bartonella, you may be asking? Bartonella is a genus of gram-negative bacteria, and it is the only genus in the family Bartonellis. It is an intracellular parasite, and species can infect healthy people but are considered especially important as opportunistic pathogens, and they are normally transmitted by any insect that drinks blood. Bartonella is most commonly known as an infectious disease that can only inf affect cats and dogs. And your common veterinarians are more familiar with treating this disease than most medical doctors. It is just beginning to be understood how it is transmitted to humans by insects. The symptom list of Bartonella goes on and on. It can affect a person in so many different ways that it is often misdiagnosed as things such as depression, bipolar, and anxiety disorders. These two pictures are from my own body and they are the different types of skin rashes and lines that the disease can cause. Testing of Bartonella is extremely hard because it is not always accurate. There are 26 known strands and the test will only pick up two or three. And a clinical diagnosis is commonly needed and this looks at the patient's symptoms as well as their history. Treatment is also extremely difficult, especially if not caught early. The disease develops biofilms to protect itself and becomes antibiotic resistant through different types of mutations. Different antibiotic combinations are often needed to even attempt to get the disease under control. Some herbal remedies are also used and different homeopathic nosodes that are made from the exact Bartonella bacteria can help stimulate the immune system. Just as Lyme disease, the controversy for Bartonella is extremely heated. Here is a comparison between the Center for Disease Control and CDC and the different patients and Lyme literate doctors in the Association for Lyme Disease International. For example, the CDC thinks that just as Lyme disease, Bartonella is not chronic and can be easily treated. Here is one example of how serious Bartonella can be. Soldiers returning from Iraq were experiencing tons of mental problems and were thought to have bipolar, post-traumatic stress disorder, and depression. However, new research is showing troops returning from Iraq who suffer mental illnesses as being infected from Bartonella. Their military dogs had already had Bartonella and the fleas and sand flies bit the dogs and then transmitted it to the soldiers. The soldiers then came back home and were left to deal with a serious disease. Like many, many other blood diseases, Bartonella does not get proper recognition. It is very serious and can often lead to suicide. Hundreds of thousands of people are diagnosed with Bartonella each year, and many people have Bartonella without even knowing it. The testing for Bartonella desperately needs to be improved to help bring relief to thousands of people struggling. I hope you all were able to learn something from this and can now become more aware of this disease that is real and affects people mentally every single day. Thank you all so much for watching this, and just remember, it's not over yet.